why you play if if you won all the time you wouldn't play it um and uh it, they're a good team they came out to compete we knew that they were going to come and play hard uh like like I said last week you know that's a that's a team that had some animosity towards us we had some towards them um and, and obviously we're the shepherd rams everybody always comes to comes out to play us so so to lose that to lose that late um, it felt it's rough. You know, it feels like we could have won it. And obviously, the habit of uh, in the senior day and everything, it's uh, it's very easy to it's very easy to, to be upset with it. Um, but that said, I don't think that it was a totally negative showing. I thought that uh, we put some good things on tape. We had we had some moments um, that we looked good. Uh, we had some some times running the ball. We punched the one in the end zone late. Uh, so so we, you know what I mean? It, we we. I still still found a way to enjoy the day, uh, even though even though there's not how not the outcome that we wanted. Um, but you just gotta you gotta pick up the pieces and go forward. You know that's how this works. You we show up on Sunday. You still have lifts. You still have everything that you got to do. You go to the rest of the week. You got to prepare and uh, try to find a way to bounce back. So we stop stop stacking these losses and uh, come back ready to win. No, a lot of the noise going on is currently negative around this program from the outside. You mentioned, though, that there's still a good bit of positives, even with the uh, heartbreaking loss on senior day. You mentioned the one touchdown in overtime. Uh, what were some other positives that you guys have been able to find to try to build off of? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, the beauty of suffering injuries, at least so speaking up front wise, right? That's because I'm an offensive lineman. I should start with my own room. The beauty of, uh, of, of going through some of these injuries is you get to see, um, you get to show your depth a little bit, which, uh, so we're, we're, we're watching Caleb Herb develop in real time. We're watching some of these dudes that are going to come back and play again, um, get better in real time. Even the stuff that doesn't happen on the stage right under the bright lights that everybody sees. Uh, when you lose those type of guys, uh, like when you lose Ty Lucas, when you lose Josh Crumman, it makes the it makes the rest of the room kind of wake up, uh, and it gets some dudes fired up and, and trying to trying to fight for for some of that money that's on the table. Um, so, in that sense, we we there's a lot of positives in that way. We've gotten to see a lot of great development uh, that I think is definitely going to carry over to next year. I think that those there it's going to be a very solid room. Um, that said, I think it, it it helps us now, right? because you're just creating more depth to be able to rely on um, if we suffer any more injuries right now, uh, which is important as well. So that, I think, is a positive side. As far as the whole offense, um, I think I think that it's important to still keep fighting, keep trying to get these dudes in, in sync, because I do believe that we have a very talented uh, room outside of our, our box, right? We got a lot of weapons. We got a lot of dudes that can go and play good football. So um, even though, even though, like obviously, like you guys said, there's a lot of negativity flying around. Um, but with all of that, all of that negativity in the air, there is still room for success. There's still we still go out there and play the same amount of time. We still go out there and perform the the, the exact same sport. Nothing about what we're doing on the field should change. Um, so we need to we need to be able to look past the negativity, look through the negativity, and continue to keep our heads down and work hard to to try to find some of this some of the success so we can. Uh, show the world in these last two weeks that we still are a dangerous football team. And why, obviously, this program has enjoyed a ton of success. Uh, this season has been you know, not what you guys probably expected, and you'd mentioned that negativity and having to deal with that. What has that adjustment been like? Because this has been a program that I would presume, you know, walking around campus and, and stuff like that, you guys probably don't get very much negativity uh, but now you're having to deal with that this season and how do you ignore that outside noise to just stay focused on the job at hand and, and trying to finish the strong here in the final two weeks yeah I mean um, it's all it's all accountability right and it's definitely a big switch um, but the the truth is is um, it's hard it's very hard to ignore it. and uh, the the great athletes find a way to um, the, the greatest, the greatest of, of the people that do what we do find a way to block out that noise. And they definitely get a whole lot more of it than what we're getting right now. Uh, cause they're playing in what would be considered much higher stakes. Uh, but that said, it, it definitely is different. Um, it, it, it makes it a little bit harder. You can tell that like, 
um, some people can't. A lot of the young guys, like it can be, a, it can be a very real struggle to to show them that there it's bigger than just you know. I mean, you got to be able to work hard even when you're not getting the rewards or the love that you that you want, you know. And uh, so, dudes that haven't come from, uh, haven't seen a lot of losing before, um, it, it's definitely a very real struggle. But the the key is kind of like I said, you know, just being able to. Um, if it really is a, a big one like the rant that I that I gave you guys last week is being able to just find a way to play this game for for the right reasons, which is because you love it. You know, because if you start if you start worrying and concerning yourself with just the wins and losses, you're you're never gonna you're never gonna get them. You know, you have to um, you have to focus on just trying to make yourself the best the best version of yourself on the field, making yourself difficult to beat as a player, and then. Uh, on a big picture level, making yourself big is hard to beat as a unit and then making yourself hard to beat as a, as a side of the ball. And then as a football team, you know, it's all just, it's all about just working up that ladder um, of making yourself a difficult opponent to beat. So that's really, I think the key is just, there's no other really way to put it besides you just have to block it out. You know, like it's, it's not easy. It's not easy, but if it was easy, then everybody would do it. So that's why we're here. Um, that's the mission right now. And it's definitely a different mission than one that we've uh, experienced in the past. Like you said, this is a program that typically we get to walk around chest, chest out, head high, uh, wearing, wearing all the gear, wearing everything because it's a successful, it's a successful uh, franchise and program. That's not, that's not where we're at right now. But you got you to gotta, you gotta rep it in good times and bad, right? Because that's the only way that this ship is going to get right and bounce back is if we believe in it and believe that it's uh, got the capability to do so. So uh, I'm not giving up on the program. I don't think anybody else is. Um, I mean, maybe some people on the outside, but that's never really been what matters. It's all about the dudes in the room. Uh, and I, I still think that there's faith in the room. Uh, and, and everybody is ready to ready to bounce back. And what better week to, to bounce back in than have East Stroudsburg uh, on the road, you know, it's a big challenge. They're a very challenging team. They're a good team. They're they're sixth, I think, power ranked right now, uh, which is it's a huge opponent for us. So if we can find a way to go on the road and make and get a statement win, I think it can right a lot of the uh, a lot of the wrongs and a lot of the chatter right now and quiet down some of this noise, which will make it easier to walk around and maybe we can puff our chest out again a little bit. It's walk around a little bit taller. So, um, but yeah, that's, I guess, my thoughts on it is the only, the only way out is to, is to find a way to win. You mentioned it at East Strasburg this week. What's been, I guess, the intensity and the uh, vibe around practice gearing up for this game? Has there been a drop or is things kind of staying the same or maybe even being vamped up a little bit heading into these final two weeks? Um, I think, uh, I think it's, it's, it's a, it can be a bit of a mix of times, you know, like I said, young dudes or dudes that haven't been around the program long, uh, it can be, it can be a little bit difficult to get those cats bought in, but, uh, there, there is definitely a core motion, a core movement in the, in the program that, uh, that shows up every day that wants to work, is ready to work and wants to do everything that they can to, uh, be E. Strouds this week, which that is, that is the mission. You know, we can't, we can sit here and we can talk about it. Uh, all of the stuff that's happened, where we're at right now, what the win loss record is, everything, and, and, and all the problems, all the negativity, and, and all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, what it's all about just going one and zero this week. So uh, I think that that's really the energy. Um, is people are at, we're, we're beyond the point of looking at the whole picture. We're we're hunkering down and, and hanging our hats on going in and, and fighting for fighting for the sake of the fight. You know, and if it means if it means. Uh, crawling and scratching for it then that's what it that's what it takes so we're we're ready we're ready to do whatever it needs to be done and while you talked about it a little bit last week senior day uh for you and and this is a uh for you as an offensive line you know it's a pretty senior heavy line as well and you guys have been around each other for a long time so what have these moments been like knowing that this group is kind of moving on and uh, you'll you'll try to bring up some of those young guys like Caleb Herb, but also um, just you know your final few moments getting to play together after being a part of you know this team for such a long time and coming in at the same time as well. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's definitely it's it's easy to get emotional about it. You know, I got a lot of love for those guys. Um, it definitely it definitely is a little bit uh, sad to not have to not have our boy 
75, Ty Luke is with us, but you know what I mean? As a, everything, everything happens for a reason. It all is going to work out the way it's supposed to. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's definitely a little sentimental, you know, to, to, we've been here a long time, James Curtis, we, we all came in together and, and, uh, to be finishing out together, it is, it's a good moment. And, and I mean, even not even, it extends past just our O-line, you know, like to have Ben Narski, Mason Newton, like that, that core group of, of dudes, like we've been here since the COVID, you know I mean? We've, we've seen a lot. And, uh, so yeah, a lot of it is, uh, I try not to, I try not to get too heavy on the emotional side and think about it that way. And I try to make it more, um, I try to spend more of my time focusing on the young cats and getting them, uh, getting them right, getting them prepared so that next year they uh, they have these running backs and the, the, the weapons that are coming back are going to have going to have a solid room of dudes to, to hold it down in the box so that they can they can have a good season because it's all about it's all about bouncing back at this point so but yes it is definitely it's it's, it's uh, bittersweet for sure when the year begins coach McCook you guys as well as a whole, know the goals that are in front of you and time and time again we hear what those goals are at this point in the season with how things have gone are the goals even though some are still not achievable still the same or what are maybe some new goals that have been uh added in the message from the top down yeah uh well i think after uh because you're, you're absolutely right. Some of them changed because obviously you want to you, you want to win the first game. We did that. Win the home opener. We did not do that against Slippery Rock. Uh, win the East. We're not successful in that. Uh, but then the last one is win the last game you play, which we that is still a very possible goal. It's a very achievable goal. Um, and uh, so that's that one we still we still think about, and it's it's on the it's on the scope. Um, but I would say after, uh, after we, we, uh, lost to Kutztown, the, it became less about, um, winning the East and more about, like I said earlier, going, going one to know that week. Cause, cause once you get into that, get into that mode, it's very easy to, um, to let the momentum carry you in, in a bad sense, you know, carry you downward, uh, and, and drag you, drag you off a very steep slope. So, uh, the best thing that you can kind of do is, is separate yourself from the loss, refocus, and try to go one to know that week. Um, and that's that's really been a, a big goal of ours as a program to try to try to remedy the uh, remedy the bleeding, stop the bleeding a little bit. Why? What are some of the things you're seeing from the East Stroudsburg defense? What will be some of the challenges for you guys this week? Um, yeah, so there. Uh, I'm sure you guys have probably seen a little bit, or at least heard a little bit about the game. Uh, they're they're an offensive powerhouse. They've had a, their offense has been extremely extremely well running this year. Uh, they're putting up putting up a lot of great numbers. They're doing a lot of good things. Um, that said, with the amount of success that they're generating offensively, the defense has been uh, just kind of doing their best to to hold their own and get the job done on the back end. Uh, they're they're not. I don't think that there is defensive focused team. I feel like they're definitely offensive leading, like I just said. Uh they play pretty basic four like four it's kinda like it's a four down front. It, it's a lot of like what we see like with Coach Town and stuff. They play it they don't I don't know I would definitely wouldn't say they play it as well as those guys. Uh they play hard. Um they have a good group of dudes or DNs are very talented. They got a lot of size. Uh so it's not gonna be easy. You know what I mean? There's no there never is any easy in the P Tech. Uh, like just because the offense is the better of the two sides of the ball does not mean that this defense is uh, by any means underperforming. They get the job done, so they have to in order to be. You know, I mean, they're a six ranked team in the in the uh, I think in the region right now. So yes, they're it's going to be it's going to be an uphill battle, and I, it's going to be one of those ones like cuts down a couple of weeks ago where I don't think that we're going to get a lot of uh, picks to win, which uh, I I, I kind of prefer it that way. Uh, so. We're ready to go and fight. We know it's going to be it's going to be a dog fight a little bit, but I think that's kind of what we need right now. I think that we need a little bit of uh, blood in the water. So uh, we're we're excited to go out there and, and, and fight for it. You just mentioned the underdog mentality in in this matchup that hasn't really been the case. Uh, you look since joining the conference, 
Shepard has won the uh, four meetings, and those games weren't close whatsoever. Even last year, uh, it was a dominating win. They're coming in hungry. They know they're the favorites on your side, other than, I guess, being the underdog with nothing to lose. What is your, uh, personally, what's your inspiration to uh, getting up for this game? Um, yeah, I mean, per- personally for me, if you take it off the, take it off the team level, personally for me, it's, it's, uh, it's more of just for the love of, for the love of the game. You know, there's going to be uh, two weeks left of this for the rest of my life. Uh, so the, there's going to be, there's going to be a time that's very, very sh- close to now that I'm going to be sitting there realizing that I cannot go out there and play the game that I love anymore. Um, so Every day that I, every practice that I get, every rep that I'm blessed to be able to suit up for now, uh, I'm I'm grateful for and have to give him my all for the old man that's going to be sitting in the chair 20 years from now that can't do it anymore. Um, so so there's that, and then there's also just the sense that I, I'm I'm personally, uh, I mean I I've been frustrated, I've been I've been angry about it. They obviously like we, we talk about like the season's not going where where. I wanted it to where we wanted it to um, to go, and uh, I mean, it, for me, it's it's about trying to trying to um, leave leave this this offensive line room better than I found it. Try to leave an impact. Try to show these young guys the the way the game is supposed to be played and and, and doing it the right way. Uh, so that that's really the inspiration for me is to just try to go out there and. Uh, and, and put on a show for for the young guys and for for my family for everybody that that has supported me and, and done all everything that they've done for me to be able to play this game because I've been so fortunate and, and blessed to be able to play this game for as long as I have uh, so to just go out there and and uh, and honor all of them and, and and do it the right way that's really that's really the mentality because I'm I'm a big believer that, that if you do it the right way and you prepare the right way. Uh, that the the football gods will take care of you and, and it'll work out in the end. All right, Wyatt, thank you for the time and uh, best of luck this week. Appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Wyatt Pelicano, Shepard Rams offense.